In this Storyline 360 tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to change the appearance of a multi-state object based on the responses in a drag-and-drop slide. If you enjoy what you see here, please click subscribe. You can also visit my website at msnod.com for more information on training classes, development services, and to view my tips and tricks blog. Okay, let's take a look. The first thing I want to do is review the completed project. You'll see here on slide one, the drag and drop slide, there are three draggable ovals and one rectangular drop target. On slide two, the results slide, you'll see I have a message that I have selected nothing. So the idea, if I click on drag and drop slide, is to drag one of these objects, say number three, over to the rectangle, go to the results slide, and it now shows me that I have selected number three. I'll go back to the first drag and drop slide, try a different one, number one, drag it over, go to results, and the message has changed. So that's what we're going to create. I'll switch back over to Storyline, where I have a new project set up, the same two slides, but currently no interactions. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert slide one into a freeform drag and drop slide. So I'll go to the Insert tab up top and click Convert to Freeform. I'll confirm, drag and drop, and then click OK. Storyline presents me with the uh, form view. I'll take the drag item, left-hand column, and add the three ovals as drag items. So I'll click here and choose oval one, oval two, oval three. Since this particular project doesn't have a right or wrong answer, I don't need to establish a drop target. So I'll leave the right side column empty. I'll go to the right, Click Slide View, and I now need to create a variable that will track which object I have dropped onto the rectangle. So in the Triggers panel, over on the right, I'll click the Manage Project Variables button. I'll click the green plus sign to add a new variable. I will name my variable Drop Check. I'll confirm that it is a text variable and it has no default value. I'll hit OK and OK. Now I'll create a trigger on each of the three ovals that assigns a value to the variable. So I'll click Oval 1, go to my Triggers panel on the right and click the Create New Trigger button. My trigger will adjust variable and have it set drop, or sorry, I'll have it set drop check to a value of 1. When over 1 object dropped on. So when a user drops object on the target, oval one, and the target will be the drop target rectangle. I'll click OK and confirm my trigger reads, set drop check to value one when the user drops oval one on drop target one. Perfect. I'll duplicate this trigger and modify it for the other two ovals. So I'll click the Copy Triggers button and then click the Paste Copy Trigger button twice. And I'll just modify the two copies. So the second one will be Set Drop Check to Value of 2 when the user drops Oval 2 on Drop Target 1. And then I'll take 
the third trigger and do the same thing. Set drop check to value three. When user drops oval three on drop target one. Excellent. Slide one is done. I'll now go to slide two, the results slide. And I've already created a multi-state object for our response. So if I click here, you'll see that nothing is its own text object. And if I go down to my states panel at the bottom, my normal state is the word nothing. State one shows number one, state two, the number two, and state three, the number three. So let's create a trigger that changes these states based on the value of the variable. So I'll go to triggers and create a new trigger. This trigger will change state of, and I'll take the answer box. I just named that text frame uh, answer. So change state of answer from nothing to a state of state one. When the timeline starts on this slide, if drop check is equal to one. Change state of answer, nothing, to state one. When the timeline starts, on the slide if drop check is equal to a value of one. And that's our trigger. I'll hit OK. And just like we did on slide one, I'm going to duplicate this twice and modify the copies. So I'll click the copy trigger button and then click the paste copy trigger button twice. I'll take the first copy and modify it. Change state of answer nothing to State 2, when the timeline starts on this slide, if drop check is equal to a value of 2. And then I'll take the third one. Change the state to state 3, if drop check is equal to a value of 3. And that should do it. Let's uh, preview and see how it goes. So I'll go to preview entire project. Again, initially, if I go to results, nothing. Right, back to drag and drop slide. I'll grab one of these, number two. Drag and drop, go to results. And there we have it. I'll go back to drag and drop. Try number one. Go to results, and number three, go to results, perfect. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this lesson, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog at msnod.com forward slash blog for other tips and tricks. Hope to see you again soon.